All right. So this is um, flat two trucker here, just uh, trying to show you. There's there's approximately a hundred and three. Well, there are a hundred and three barns. Okay. Going all the way from one end to another. Okay. There's about 412 inches total from one part to another. So, and the, and, and the line is completely level and parallel. Okay, so this is straight steel iron rod, okay? So if you notice the horizon, okay, and the distance, uh, according to the math, you have to have eight inches per mile squared, okay? So, even if you had less than that, okay, on a ball, you, you have to have some kind of curvature that it's observable. Okay, so I'm going to show you, like, from here, and all these bars, there's absolute parallel. There's no bowing. There's no curvature. Help me find the curvature, you ball tards, but that's okay. I don't mean to be insulting, but I mean, it is absolutely the whole distance. See, and I'm going long ways too. I'm not, I'm not staying at this end. Keep on focusing over here. This is going the whole length. All the way to there. Look at, see, there's. I'm gonna bring it, and it's completely flush and level with the whole horizon. How many? How many? Uh, how many lines? Let me back it up a little bit. How many horizontal lines does it take to make up a ball? And for you mathematicians who believe, you know, in scientism, well, I'm sorry to say, there's no perverting that because there's zero. There's no, no lines, straight lines make up a ball. And my friends, this is as straight as it can get. This is what we call sea level, where the water is level to identify that there's no curvature. I mean, you don't have to be a retard Copernicus to look out. See, looking out, you you can't see so far. But this can never lie. <laughs> this can never lie. And even even if I go further this way to cover more of the land, there, I mean, it's it's what we call a flat, beautiful earth with with. Valleys, spurs, draws, cliffs, hills, and but in the the, the ocean's not going to lie to you, you know. See, those are hills, so so the Earth isn't completely flat, right? Because it's got hills and valleys, and mountains and rivers and valleys. Yeah, so you know those five major train features, and uh, you know so. It's pretty amazing. See, flat water there. See, flat is flat pool, flat water level, and uh, and this is level too. So if you go down here, it's all level. It's all level. No matter what you do, if you bring this down, it's going to be level. I can't believe I even have to say this, but somebody, on my last video, I had like a a much smaller realm. And I'm like, the, the, the amount of distance going out covers miles and miles. And the closer you get to shore, one of these one of these bars only cover, you know, the width of a the width of a, a, a stump, right? A big stump, though. You know, that's about um, a, a 14 foot. It could be a yeah, about a 14 foot uh, um, like log over there. And this, this is about um, a 20, 20 foot log right there. And, and just, uh, that's eight inches. So it's about four inches, four inches per, 
You know, so it's covering, you know. You know. And so the further you go out, the further the length is covering. So now that's covering a, a much further distance and the further you go out, the greater distance and the width is going. So you're, you're talking about, you know, it could be out to two miles of distance. Uh, so, and, and the furthest I can see is that hill. Is that uh, rock out there? I'm zooming that in pretty good. So, it's, uh, you know, the distance to the boats and out to the, um, to that rock over there, quite a bit of distance. So, let's say if that's out uh, where that cliff is, uh, probably over five, five miles, it could be 10 miles out. Uh, you can see the horizon, I mean, of the, the distance to the ocean is even further than that. So that could be 10, what, um, 10 miles. So if you can see it, maybe a few miles out further, it's just hard to, hard to say. Because uh, I don't have a laser range finder. I'll probably have to bring a, for the real skeptics, I'll probably have to bring a laser range finder and then also put a leveling uh, a leveling bar on this to, to prove its level because have you measured somebody asked have you measured the that that straight bar I mean is it really level I mean how do you know it's not curving with the ocean and I'm like the deniers man the the insanity of these people wanting to hold so far into their their idol of the of the globe it's ridiculous but Absolutely gorgeous out here. I mean, and look at look at global warming. Uh, global warming. Uh oh, the ocean is going to take over the ocean. I mean, this is, I mean, the land. The ocean is going to take over the land. Uh, that's not happened since the time you know, of the flood. Okay, so well, there you have it, guys. There you have it. Sorry, it's been such a long time. I've been. I've been doing debates and a lot of different other things, but uh, haven't been posting. So, sorry, it's been so long, guys. I'll, hopefully, I'll post some more stuff. So, I'll talk to y'all later and uh, keep it real. You know, I mean, just enjoy the reality. And, and the sky is blue above us, and you know, because because the, the firmament above us is uh is water okay and the stars are in the water so there are lights in in the firmament and there's the sun where is that oh, uh... well but anyway and then uh, that's the ocean and the sky above us see how the the water blue and at night time the sky is black because the sun isn't 92 million miles away because if the sun was 92 million miles away the the sky would always be bright because but the sun is local and it's very close and it only lights up the area in which it lights up and you can do that experiment at, at your home you can draw a big circle in the middle of the floor get a flashlight and bring it down to where the light only shines uh, at the edges of the uh, uh, from the center to the of the circle to the outside of the ring um, that you drew and it'll only uh, illuminate that now if you put like hills all through the other stuff and and uh, you'll, you'll even get a better perspective and then also the heavens declare the glory of the Lord and uh, the the heavens um, uh, and the lights that he made, the the sun being the male and the moon being, uh, gives forth her light. Uh, and God held the sun in the sky. See, those isn't just random words being proclaimed throughout Scripture. Those are evidential, you know, proclamations of the of the Holy Word of God and I mean, the incarnate Word, telling you 
what the earth is, okay? How he's made it, what the heavens really is, and why would anybody come to pervert it? So if anybody says anything contrary to sound scripture, you know, um, you know, it's pretty explicit what to say, what to do with the the people sound scripture is all, all the word of God the Old Testament New Testament Jesus is the word so anybody speaks against the word speaks against the body of Christ and uh, and uh, it's his body it's his word it's his creation so anybody speaks against one word against him you know um, or against his design or anything that he says it's evil, you know, just like, I mean, look at the results of Eve. She just changed one little thing, right? Did, did, I mean, the Satan said, did God say this? And she goes, well, God, and, and then Eve says, if, uh, uh, well, God says not to touch it or eat of it. No, he didn't say not to touch it. He says, don't eat of it. That's, it's that simple, you know, it's that simple, but. Uh, yeah, you got rainbows, you know, that prove that there's a there's a firmament above us, not a Van Allen radiation belt, which is absurd. They can't get to the uh, the outside of the firmament. Uh, why is because it's the Raka, which is the uh, the uh, oh goodness gracious, oh sorry, the, the Raka is a, a hardened uh, surface and that's the sky right that's not the sky but it's not outer space because above us is water and then you got the firmament reflecting that uh, with the sun and through the clouds when it when it rains and so we see the bow we see the blue waters we see the blue sky we see the stars and, and it's not CGI <laughs> you know um, there are actual lights in the sky um, and uh, you know if you look and you'll see God's creation and they're evident it's evident so a lot of people are you know really critical uh, because when you're brainwashed your mind it's your mind is repetition by repetition. So it's like, you know, in the military we teach uh, muscle memory. So we, so when we do things over, repetitive, over and over again, we just automatically can just respond and react to it, right? Um, and so it's just muscle memory. We just, our body reacts to what we're supposed to do when we're supposed to do it. And that's what they've done to you since you've been uh, since you've been born, uh, they've on all the TV. You know, your parents sit you in front of the TV, which is the which is the the eye, right? It's the all-seeing eyes. Uh, they they preach their doctrine. Uh, they they mock Christianity. They they te they show the globe, Earth. Uh, as soon as you you know start watching TV on every you know. Uh, on Universal Studios, you know, you got Disney Pedophile Channel, you know, and all the magic and the, it's all witchcraft. It's all scientism. These, you know, from Fauci to, to the government to, you know, they're all the uh, Janus and Jamborees and they're all the false prophets and the, the lying, uh, you know, deceivers and the, the gainsayers that, and, and they're the mouthpiece of Satan, you know. And so if you preach what they have taught you, you know, you, you're literally, you're a servant of, you can't serve two masters. You only can serve the truth, you know. Uh, this is this is the line drawn in the sand, you know. That's the sand, you know. See all the lines? Well, this is the line drawn in the sand, you know. God says he's going to send them such a strong delusion that they will even believe a lie. Well, is there unrighteousness with God? No, God forbid there's no unrighteousness with him. He just knows the heart and the mind of, 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 of the willful ignorant. They, they love darkness more than they love the light. You know, they don't come to light because they love their deeds are evil, right? That's after, if you read 
John 3.16, you need to read beyond that because, uh, you know, you'll, you'll understand why people don't come to Christ. And if, you know, in the last days, perilous times shall come and there'll be mockers and scoffers. And, you know, the, but God has set up his prophets. And, then, and, uh, and there's an absolute truth out there, and I'm proclaiming it. And uh, not everybody's going to agree with me, but that's okay because that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, that's the way it's supposed to be. My my job is not to, uh, to, you know, change people, and I don't get butt hurt if I don't. I just, I really, I can, I'm, I am really concerned though, um, because I know the end. And, uh, but you know, that's why he says, "Let the ignorant be ignorant." Still, sometimes I I, I do struggle with you know. You know, don't cast your pearls before swine, that, 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 which is precious, you know, because they'll just trample on it and just mock it. But, I mean, then you, then you have, you know, the disciples preaching, and, and then you have scoffers and mockers, you know, scoffing them, and wanting to buy the gift of the Holy Spirit. I don't know, it's... Well, I'm thankful to God, man, for this opportunity to show you guys that, you know, that beautiful, long, straight bar, and they literally, I'm going to have to say, hundreds and hundreds of miles that each one of those lines represent, you know. So being over 103 bars, 412 inches, you know, that, you know, that could be 412 miles of no curvature. You know, if each inch represented a mile as far out as you can see over 10 miles, I mean, that's to be conservative, you know. But, uh, because, I mean, I'm looking at that little boat right there. That's, that's about, what, 30, 30, uh, 30 foot boat, and it's not over the horizon, but, um, you know, so you got, that could fit about one, two, three. I mean, it could fit a lot of boats. One. I, I can't count because I got, I wouldn't be right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's not even a mile out, that one boat. So, so, because it's, and I can't, I can't, uh, estimate on here the length of the boat because then someone said well did you go measure it I go no I mean you just you know I just can't argue with the logic with some people because they'll deny everything I just showed them about the bar you know covering so much land and we know you know the distance of the eye that can see usually about three miles out but uh, you mean we can we can observe much further uh, because I know for a fact that that I'm going to uh, actually I'm going to have to Google and I'll I'll remake this video if it's less than 10 miles or if it's or if it's not close to 10 miles but uh, I'll uh, Google that from the hotel I'm at and uh, well, I don't want to misspeak you know but, but it's really beautiful. It's really amazing. I mean, if you can just identify with what, you know, you're not confusing more. It's like this gender thing going on. They're all the, every, every, they, they, they go from one extreme to another. They, they've been doing this forever from, from evolution, I mean, to the Big Bang Theory, uh, to, from the Earth is flat to the Earth is round, from... From all the way from did God say that the the, the tree you uh, you you will die you you know you won't surely die you know so it's always changing what God is saying from the old to to the new I don't believe in an old and new testament well there's a there's a new covenant you know um, and the and the and the testament of Christ you know but 
and we put the words new and old. But God says he didn't come to take away the law, but to fulfill it. You know, so there's no taking away. There's no taking away. There's a fulfillment, you know. But there's no taking away of the law. Because the law is the schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ. If we don't know the law, I mean, we won't know him. If we don't know what's written in the in the in the law we we won't know about his creation so much to say you know we won't know who jesus who to look for in the messiah we won't know who to look for you know in uh, the antichrist or you know or anything we'll just be wandering like the wandering stars right with no aim or purpose but yeah well uh, All right, so you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and uh, week and month and year. Right. Okay, God bless.